Okay, we've now come up to the Temple Mount with a group of about 40 people. I wanted to point out. Look at the, uh, the uh, archaeological bases. The archaeological bases uh, near the Islamic Museum. We are now. <laughs> We are now um, near the uh, El Aqsa Mosque, here at the southern uh, edge of the Temple Mount, and we are uh, passing. As this gentleman is saying, we are now passing into the 500 Amut of Harabai. This is the holy area that God cho chose to place his name. May my eyes be there all year round. Everything that happens here is of divine providence. May we see uh, lessening of the stronghold that the uh, Muslims have on the site that uh, keep us from coming here. Thankfully we see no lack with us. This is a time to thank God for this progress during this week of of Elut, of mourning, of the destruction of the temple. We now are here helping actually to build the temple. It's quiet. But the main thing is not here. <laughs> Instead of seeing the temple, the altar, the tabernacle, the offerings of the morning and evening daily offerings, we're just walking around, around and around the place of the temple. We have to remember and give thanks that God is giving us progress while remembering that there is still no temple, there is no divine presence. In this place where God promised that this is where all the prayers go through, this is where all prayers will be accepted. Let us hope that we will see no more enemies here, but rather the Divine Presence coming back to Zion, speedily in our days. Amen. This whole uh, area that has been uh, Piled so nicely, you can see that it's very recent. This whole area underneath us, and especially underneath to the south over there, is where the new Solomon's Stables Mosque, underground mosque, was built. In order to build that mosque, hundreds of tons of uh, earth were uh, dug up and dumped just beyond this wall, which of course is the wall of the old city itself, in the Kidron Valley. And uh, Tzachi Tzweig, later he changed, he Hebraized his name to Tzachi Dvira, a student of archaeology, saw this incredible, incredible uh, scandal, archaeological crime, and he uh, arranged that all of that Earth, all well, that dirt would be transferred to what is called Emek Tzurim, just uh, under Mount Scopus. And that, of course, is the uh, Temple Mount Sifting Project. So it all came from here. 
We are now walking northward on the eastern wall of the Temple Mount, uh, which of course is also the eastern wall of the entire uh, old city, the walled city. Um, let's see if we can take a peek out here through this turret. What do we got there? Not too easy, but there's uh, the, the Russian church. There is uh, uh, that was Mama Lachatzayom. Ma? I shall make Kutzot Bo Hashem. There uh, is a surprising amount of pressure here on the side of the police to push us forward quickly simply because there's a lot, a lot of people who want to come up. That was Beta Hoshan with the with the flag. Let's see if I can quickly get it. It's an Israeli flag. <laughs> and we're about to arrive at uh, the on the, this eastern side just east, due east of uh, of uh, the uh, the temple, the spot of the temple, where the uh, Golden Dome is now. We will stop there for a moment. Maybe somebody will say some words. I'll do some translating. I might uh, tell you guys some stuff if I feel like it. And uh, we'll say a prayer. You certainly, uh, you might say your prayers there, watching us looking at the site of the Holy Temple here on the Temple Mount. Excuse me. See, huh? Why are they videoing us? Sorry? Why are they videoing us? They're videoing us because uh, that's what they're used to doing. <laughs> that's the orders. What? So if they see on the video, they're going to move my lips. No, I don't think they're going to do that. Eh? Mm -hmm. I want to see who's coming up here. Toda Hashem. <sighs> I was talking about the of the project here. Let's see. The untouched, un uh, researched, undug in C2 earth of the Temple Mount. Uh, obviously, the uh, I, I think it's a uh, no brainer that this is the most important archaeological site in the world. Uh, but uh, it's impossible to dig here, except unless you're uh, excavating to build some mosque underground without uh, organizing it with the uh, Israeli authorities. But that was a while ago. Onward and upward. 
Uh, some people are making some comments. I just noticed Ron, my friend, uh, mentioned that thousands of years ago on these days, there was deadly fighting right there, absolutely, even though I recently uh, heard a lecture by uh, Gershon Bar Kokhba describing the uh, battles just um, they're just coming up to the destruction of the second temple and the main battles were held in the uh, northwest corner of the northwest corner of the temple mount. Today is the fourth day of Av. There were four important things that happened on the fourth of Av in the calling of the second temple. First of all, Ezra the scribe came to here on that day and they brought all of the uh, implements, all the instruments of uh, the temple of the first that were uh, hidden. This was the day that those tools and and the came back. Today is the day of their remembrance. About 20 years afterwards, Nehemiah came, and today, the fourth day of Av, was the day that Nehemiah started building the walls of Jerusalem. Yesterday I heard Rabbi saying that today's reality is that God is giving us, we just have to come and take it. Today is the opportunity, so many people can come up to the walls and come up and give Today, two weeks since that horrific terror attack, since then, there have been nobody bothering us. When we come up to the temple, now is the time, we hope, that this day mistake will not happen. We read in the Bible that when the spies said they are stronger than us, that is what made everybody lose faith. Today is our opportunity to fix that sin. When God is saying, come to me, come to the Temple Mount, the Holy Mount, now is the time for everybody to come, to come up to the top of the mountain, just as God commanded us. This gives an opportunity to be part of bringing the redemption. May it come speedily, even before the night of that we will not have to mourn over it. May God help us. This is the, uh, we, this, this was spoken at what is called the Beit Midrash of uh, uh, the Imas family, the Yitzchak and uh, I forget his name. Echol Imas Haba Aisha Yitzchak ve Talia Yitzchak and Talia Imas, who were regular uh, visitors to the Temple Mount and very strong activists for the Temple Mount. Tragically, they were uh, killed while driving near their home, near where I live now. I live in Ma'alei Chever, just south east of Kirat Arba. They lived in Beit Chagai, just southwest of Kirat Arba. They were driving uh, with other people also in the car to uh, to come up to the Temple Mount, and uh, they were ambushed by uh, terrorists in that area, and uh, were killed instantly. Their uh, orphans, their children, were adopted by Yehuda and Yafi Glick, uh, also obviously well-known great activists uh, for Harabite, um, who uh, today we continue to thank God for Yehuda's miraculous <laughs> and health after a convalescing from uh, an assassination attempt on his life but we are praying for uh, his wife uh, Yafi Yafabat Le'a 
who uh, had a uh, very severe stroke and today uh, is still weeks and weeks afterwards um, are not conscious. So may the merit of uh, Yud and Yafi's uh, activism for the Temple Mount unquestionably uh, almost single-handedly single-handedly Ishtoka Gufo uh, responsible for so many people coming up to the Temple Mount myself included um, may she uh, merit uh, health quickly southwest corner from the um, Grabi Gate, known as uh, the Hallel Gate, named for Hallel Ariel, a young girl who also tragically was killed in a terror attack about a year ago, I believe, a little bit more than a year ago. I live in Kirat Arba, so, and her mother, very, very active. Parents are very, very active in the Temple Mount activism, so they uh, requested to rename that gate the Hallel Gate, Shar Hallel, and uh, we uh, Temple Mount supporters uh, are happy to are happy to fulfill that wish. Anyway, the uh, guide mentioned that we were just coming out, just entering the 500 by 500 Amot, about the uh, uh, Kalava, 250 square meters, that uh, is, um, was the area of the Temple Mount in the Second Temple before uh, Herod uh, built, extended the, uh, the Temple Mount. According to my understanding, um, that area is uh, of a low, uh, un- understandably, of a lower level of of uh, holiness. Certainly, a lower level of uh, any danger of being the space that is prohibited to enter, as far as the Torah. Of course, only the Kohen Gadol, the high priest, is allowed to go into the Holy of Holies, and only Kohanim, only Regular priests are allowed to go into the areas uh, just surrounding the Holy of Holies, and then only uh, uh, people who are uh, ver- uh, other reasons. But there are uh, the area outside of what was the Holy Temple. Certainly, um, there is no reason not to go there. So even anybody who thinks that they should be afraid of going to the Temple Mount, I see absolutely no reason not to go in over there. That is the shita, that is the opinion of uh, my rabbi, Rabbi Yitzhak Shilat, who goes up to the Temple just in those areas. This is another speaker. He's uh, describing the service of the. Uh, of uh, the uh, temple service. I believe he's talking about the. Uh, morning, morning, um, 
נכנסים כל הכהנים להיכל להשתחוות. נכנסים להיכל, משתחווים. קורבן תמיד, אומרים, דיילי סקרפייס. קורבן תמיד, אומרים, דיילי סקרפייס. קורבן תמיד, ונכנס איתם להיכל ושופך אותם למזבח הזהב, משתחווה ויוצא, נשאר הכהן שמכתיר את הקטורת לבד. כל הכהנים פורשים אפילו מבין העולם ולמזבח, ואז הוא מכתיר את הקטורת, משתחווה ויוצא. מאוד מפרסב איך שהוא יוצא, נכנס הכהן שמציג את הקטורת descriptions. Just as we have uh, merited to talk about it and to arrange it, thus may we merit to actually do it. Okay. זה ממש מרגש, כאילו אתה רואה את הדברים לפני עיניך. כאילו שאני גם רואה, לא רואה. Yeah, this is the main entrance from the north. Wow. Interesting, there's a, it seems to be a ladder up there on the eastern side of the of the golden dome that is not the uh, immovable ladder of the uh, Church of the Holy Sepulcher not a few hundred meters away from here This is the uh, northern side of the Temple Mount. Further down there, you see that is, I'm now uh, focusing behind these trees on a school. I forget uh, the name of the school. Al Mahumadiya, Al Mahumashakriya, I'm not sure what. <laughs> and that was the spot that I remember going up into that school in an Israeli Arab. Uh, an Israeli Arab elementary school and uh, on certain days we would be allowed to go in there and look over the Temple Mount the closest we can get to see it today Baruch Hashem we've advanced significantly but uh, in this corner down there that is the northeast the northeast corner <laughs> Uh, that in, I'm now pointing towards the northeast corner of the Temple Mount. Just beyond this corner is the Lion's Gate area, uh, where the um, where the uh, soldiers were murdered uh, those two weeks ago. היו קבוצות שעלו ופקדו את המקום בו השוטרים נרצחו? אנחנו עושים את הסיור הרגיל, אבל יש עכשיו מקום מאוד מיוחד בהר, שזה השער ההוא במקום בו נהרגו שני השוטרים. מה, מה, מה? אתה צודק, אני מצטער. שנתנחם. He clearly was talking to uh, a soldier, who, uh, a, a, a policeman who was good friends with the two, two police who, men who were officers who were murdered two weeks ago. I asked him if uh, groups that have come up uh, steered from the uh, regular route that we're taking, the regular enter, go uh, east, go north, go west, go south until you leave. Maybe to take a, uh, a detour to uh, visit the, uh, the, the spot that the, the two uh, 
police officers were murdered two weeks ago. He said, please, let's not talk about it. It hurts me very much. We are now uh, uh, entering the area just adjacent to the western wall. We are now walking on, along the western wall of the Temple Mount. We can barely see the end of the Temple Mount here. Behind us we have, oh, I'd say about 50 meters or so until the end of the, uh, the Temple Mount. And this area, I think it's uh, 800 meters, the entire length of the temple from north to south. Temple Mount, excuse me. And this is the inside of the, uh, the top of the inside of the western wall. The western wall itself extends from the southern corner through the main western wall uh, plaza that everybody knows but continues on and on and on. And uh, anybody who uh, is lucky enough to visit Israel, it's, uh, they owe it to themselves to visit the Western Wall Tunnels, where you walk along the Western Wall all the way till the uh, northwest corner of the Temple Mount. Okay, I'm gonna try to find Devra, and we'll take a uh, a picture. Wait a second. Debra, when we get here, let's take a picture of us. When we get here, let's take a picture of us. I'll be happy to take a picture. Thank you so much. Guys. I'm in the middle of a uh, live. And then I'll ask video. you guys to repeat the favor. With pleasure. Thank you. Thank you everybody who's been uh, watching part of this uh, visit live. It's very, uh, uh, it's a good feeling to see that I'm helping people to see the Temple Mount, even though they are unable to be there themselves, be here themselves. Doesn't it say? The cotton. Kutna. See, sukel katanin. Here, I have it in uh, Hebrew. No, that's English. Close enough. Okay. Let's stop here for a second. Rega, rega, rega. I'm going to go to Devra? Yeah, any, you use hers. I'm in the middle of a movie. Like me, tell me, okay? One, two, three. I think I got it. Let's try again. Thank you. You want to check that, honey? I'm not sure. <laughs> This is, this is a, okay, a zoom. Just not the red button, though. That one. No. It's a little, it's a little bit shiny, but I think we're okay. That's of course. Yeah, the button. Okay. Give a little bit of a glare on it. Right, right, right. Now, over there, further on, I, we couldn't, we didn't get close this time, but it's very clear to see the difference 
between the uh, stones at the uh, stairs and beyond. This area over here is beyond those tak ama, those 400 uh, square, those 500 square amot. So this area also, just like the southern area, is uh, certainly outside of the um, sanctified Temple Mount of the second te- of the early Second Temple period, and uh, <laughs> and that is uh, our quiet, quiet trip to uh, the Temple Mount. I'm saying quiet. Toda ba yishal kochem, Hashem inachem chem, gam al ovad daninu. We are uh, grateful to the to the uh, police officers here. It's on the last one out. Uh, we're grateful to the police officers here that escorted us. I just wanted to say that I think that uh, I hope that in not a few weeks even. We will uh, merit to have much freer access to our holy t- spot. Thank you. Shalom, shalom.